Instagram, wherever you may be watching. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. This is Jordan, aka DJ J Fries, and we're going into another video in the series for Build Up, a series where we break down all of the KOBs from the past leading up to King of Baltimore 9 coming in September of this year. Uh, this battle we're going to be looking at today is a very solid, very good battle. Uh, it's going to be Michael versus Markel. Uh, two heavy hitters on each side. We have Michael, uh, his first KOB, first top 16. Um, very solid competitor, very talented musicality-wise. Uh, great move set and an all-around solid dancer. And then we have Markel, uh, the acrobatic phenom that he is, a talent in his own right with his combos, as well as his stunts that he's most well known for. Uh, two competitors definitely went at it. This was a very, very highly anticipated battle. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it, see how it turned out. Oh, oh my goodness. Damn, bro. Like another five seconds and that'd have been perfect. He just started before the track actually dropped. That's that's a tough one, man. Uh, track knowledge is everything. I mean, that just comes down to forgetting where the drop is and just mental lapse, I guess. But uh, let's see if he can bounce back. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. I mean, just based off of that alone, that, that really goes to show you the testament to Michael's talent. He started off not with the drop on the track, and then next thing you know, he's coming out, he started wild. It was very, very solid. Very good first round. Um, nothing that really popped off the page for me, but on the same token, he really was going off at the same time. So, let's see. Bitch! Okay. Markel Wilder with the stunts as usual. Oh. Like, I don't know, it's like they went from a production camera, a high quality camera, to a phone. Just completely changed the dynamic of the video. Bop. Uh, see, that, even with that little, that little slip up right there, it still looked like it, he was supposed to do that. And that's really goes to show you like how good Markel is when it comes to his stunts, man. Like that dude really can just do damn near anything and make it look good. Let's go. So the first round I have to give it Markel. At the end of the day, it just it just was way more eye popping, much better to to look at as far as from a dance perspective. Ah. Uh, that would have been dope if he would have did lay, same arm, same side. But the fact that he did left leg or right leg, left arm, and then left leg, right arm, it 
kind of made it, made it look a little bit awkward. So just tiny execution errors that at the end of the day could have cost in the battle. So let's keep going. Kelly was about to kick him in second gear. It's a wrap. Ah, bitch. See, for me, it's just that little cop out that he does. And it's. That's what I mean by he's like a good, I guess a good bridge between the old generation and new generation when it comes to strictly dancing. He has that in his bag, but he just gets stuck when he's trying to do a stunt or it's like you can tell when he's thinking about his moves. So had Michael not kind of, not necessarily gave up, but gassed out at the end, I think this would have went a third round, but just based on the fact that Markel just was doing way more and came out with more moves in the beginning. Uh, I think that's what led the judges to give him the win. Um, in my opinion, I agree. You know, this battle was definitely solid. Uh, Michael had his chance. You know, his second round was the one that would have sent him over the top. But he got tired, gassed out. Markel took advantage and got the victory. So that's the video. I mean, it wasn't really too much criticism or controversy in this one. It's pretty straightforward battle. Very intense uh two great competitors markel just happened to come out on top just with his level of experience being in previous king of baltimore's and going pretty far uh he understood what it took to get to that next level um and michael for it being his first time i mean he did great you know and he's got so much potential and he can definitely go uh super far and i'm really excited to see how he turns out but with that being said on my rating scale i definitely would have to give this battle um I wouldn't say it's low as a three, but I wouldn't give it a four. So I'm going to say three and a half stars. Um, you know, no screw ups with the music, uh, no big falls or anything like that. Just a very solid, very consistent battle all the way through. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Tune into our next video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram at DJ underscore J Fries. And if you're watching on YouTube, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Also, give it a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified the next time this video goes live as well as hit that notification bell for more content. Um, I'm out of here. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.